All right, so we're going to go and break down a couple of my favorite plugins for OBS Studio and why you should add them and what they add to your stream. Now, generally plugins create uh, special effects or features on your stream that not a lot of other streamers have. So they're really important at helping you stand out from the crowd and make your streams look unique and uh, you know impressive to your viewers. So the first one we're going to think about is Stream FX. Stream FX is a plugin that adds visual effects to any of your visual sources. It can rotate, it can change perspective, it can add three dimensions. It's very, very powerful at making your sources look uh, impressive. Have you ever been on a stream and a stream has had their chat on like an angled screen and you've wondered how on earth have they got that perspective? How on earth have they managed to do that from inside OBS Studio? They have used stream effects. So we're going to go from step one to step 10. We're going to show you how to install stream effects and how to use stream effects. So first of all, we need to go to our internet browser and we need to search for OBS Studio plugins. It will bring you to this website. I'll actually go back and show you the main forum. So here is the main page, OBS Studio plugins on obsproject.com. And we need to find stream effects. So for me, I'm just going to go to the search bar. I'm going to, I've already done it. As you can see, uh, I'm going to search stream effects in the resources category. And I'm going to press search. It's going to come up uh, with any of the forum entries that has stream effects in it. But the one we want is this one down here, stream effects for OBS Studio. If we click on that, you'll know it's the right one because it will have about half a million downloads. Uh, this is the one that you need. It tells you everything about the history of the plugin. But to be honest, I'm going to tell you most of the things you need to know about this anyway. First thing we need to do is download it. So we're going to go to go to download. It's going to uh, redirect you to GitHub. That's fine. GitHub is trustworthy. I've used this website millions of times to download things. We're going to scroll down and we're going to find the assets somewhere. Where are the assets? Here are the assets down here. Now you have two choices here. You can, if you check the tutorial just before this one, this explains this as well. You can choose the exe file, which is the one I would recommend. It will just automatically install stream effects for you. Or you can choose the zip file and then move the files from one folder to another. To understand how to use the zip file and how to move those files, check out the tutorial before this on how to install plugins. But for now, if you can, just download the exe file. It will install it automatically. And then all you need to do is go to OBS Studio. You need to close OBS Studio and then open OBS Studio again. So we're restarting OBS Studio and stream effects will now be installed if you use that exe file or if you followed our tutorial on how to use zip files. You'll know that stream effects is installed because it will have this extra tab at the top of your page right here, stream effects. Now, this is actually isn't any use to us as creators. There's nothing here that helps us with our preview area or adds any effects. It's just, I think, their way of flexing and showing you that they can control OBS Studio. Of course, you can report bugs and crashes from here and join their Discord and things like that, um, which I would recommend, by the way. Lots of uh, helpful tutorials and resources on their Discord. But what we want to do is we want to use StreamFX plugin to change some visuals on our stream. So I've set up my a rubbish webcam there he is the c270 up here with a uh, very average chroma key running so it is actually uh see-through there the background is transparent and we're going to play around with our new stream effects filters so we're going to go plus we're going to go uh, sorry no we're not we're going to right click on our webcam source of course press filters and we are going to press the plus in the bottom left hand corner of the screen here to add some filters and the stream effects filters come in under 3D transform and SDF effects. And they both do slightly different things. Let's go to 3D transform first. Now, 3D transform is obviously what it says on the tin. It will change the dimensions and the perspective of the image in your preview area. So if we go to camera and we go to perspective, I would always work in perspective mode here. It just makes it easier to control and handle. And we can change the position of the image by changing these values. That obviously doesn't do much for us because we can already do that already in 
uh, in OBS Studio. We can minimize the field of view so I can increase, so I've only got an eye available, or I can make it slightly smaller as a source so we can manipulate it more. I would have this around, I, I, I would definitely make it slightly smaller than the original source file. And then if we go down and we go to pitch, your, and roll, this is what most of you will be using this filter for. If I change the pitch, you'll see that it gets flatter or it gets steeper. <laughs> Look at that head. Oh, what a massive noggin. Let's put that on zero. And then if I go your, you go side to side. And you can actually flip the entire image as well. This is great. If you have like a side monitor, like an angled monitor on the side of your stream for chat or something, you use the your here to add that perspective and make sure that it looks consistent with the angle of your screen. And then you've got roll as well, which is basically a rotational tool, um, but does work in three dimensions. So if I change the your and then I change the roll, it works in three dimensions just like that as well. Let's put those all back to zero. And of course, you can change the scale, the X scale, the Y scale, anything you want here. Let's set that back to defaults. Now oh, the default button didn't work. It normally does. Why did that not work? Hello? Defaults, why are you not working? Let's put the scale on 100. Oh no, we've lost our camera. Well, let's remove the 3D transform. We'll just put it back on. Remember, if you do ever make mistakes with a filter, you can just remove it, put it back on, and hey presto, you're good to go again. So we're on perspective mode again. We'll keep going down. So there's the scale, there's the shear. So you can change how diagonal it is as well. Almost as if you're stretching the top and bottom in opposite directions and you can do it with the sides as well. If we do it like this, there's the shear. So you're basically changing the dimensional features of this image, which I think is pretty cool. Let's add some yaw to my camera and we'll press close. And you'll see that the bottom left here is actually a little bit chopped off. The way you can fix that is by going to filters again, go to 3D transform and just lower the field of perspective like so. And you'll see that they're actually my shoulder is now in. And there we have it. There is the side of my webcam right there. Let's get rid of that. Awesome. Now I want to add some glow or an outline or some, just some shadows to this image. You know how you normally would in, let's say if you add a layer style in Photoshop, you can add these layer styles like glows and bevels and, uh, and uh, outer glows as well. So we're gonna right click, we're going to go plus and we're gonna go to SDF effects. And this is more of a, uh, it's adding color. So rather than changing the perspective of your image, it's adding colors or visual effects to the image. So we've got outer shadow here. And you can see if I turn on outer shadow by clicking this button, it will add a shadow to your video or webcam. And now if I close, or actually, let me just move that over. You'll see that there's a little shadow behind me as I move around. It's pretty cool. And what else do we have here? We have an inner shadow. So you get an inner shadow on the inside of your image, which is quite strange, but it can be used for certain effects. Uh, outer glow, very, very similar to outer shadow. Now, if I change the outer glow, but the thing with this is I can change the color. So let's change this to pink. And suddenly I've got an outer glow. I've got a pink glow around the outside of my image. Pretty retro, it, it works. And we've got, what else have we got in that menu? Below outer glow, so remember to tick your boxes on and off if you want the effect on or off. Inner glow, very similar to inner shadow. And outline, which is more of just a uh, stable outline on your image. Texture scale, you can increase or de decrease based on whether you want the outer glow or the outline to have more texture or less texture. It's very, very effective with transparent webcams. So those are the two main features of stream effects. You've got 3D transform and SDF effects. Use them. My best advice would be to play around with them. Like I said, you cannot mess up the source image with a filter because if I do, let's say I wanna, let's just, I don't know, let's go crazy on this. Let's add some crazy, look at that shadow. Look at that shadow, I love that shadow. And then we'll go on to like some outer glow as well. And we'll make this like orange and we'll just go crazy with this right now. Outer glow width, let's make it massive and sharpness, let's make it really sharp. Now I hate this, I think it looks awful. You know what I can do? Just click on the effect, press negative, press yes and then re-add the effect. Normally, I would suggest just clicking defaults at the bottom here and it will reset everything to default. Didn't work for me just now, but maybe that's just a little bug, a little glitch today. Download stream effects, get it installed as a plugin, you won't regret it and your streams will start looking more dimensional than anyone else's.